I hope you'll be joining us for Persuading with Data. This is a class for anybody who needs to communicate data inside their organization to people who aren't experts in that data or don't work with it all the time. That might be senior leaders within your organizations, that might be the broad team as a whole, that might be clients or customers or other stakeholders within your organization. Over the two days of this class, we'll have a chance to interact live, uh, online, as well as ask questions, and you'll have the chance to actually bring in material that you're working on and get feedback from me and your classmates in real time as part of this. So in persuading with data, by the end of this course, you can expect to do a couple of things. You can expect to be able to better develop communications that persuade audiences to take action to think about how you can structure your data in a way that moves other people to action. And there's three main skills that you'll develop by being part of this. You'll be able to better design graphs and slides that minimize cognitive load on an audience. You'll be able to create structured communications that minimize cognitive load, and you'll be able to deliver data-oriented presentations that minimize cognitive load. You'll see we talk a lot in this class about cognitive load. And that's because one of the greatest challenges that you probably and your colleagues face within organizations is the amount of information that's coming at you all the time and the load on your brain, the cognitive load that it takes to process that information. In this class, we'll talk about how you can reduce the cognitive load on your audiences without having to give up that essential information that's part of the core that people need to know in order to make better decisions. This is a course designed for anybody who works with data in an organization and needs to communicate that data to other people. All you need to show up with is an example of some of the work that you do that we can talk about as a group and a willingness to both give and receive feedback from other people. At the end of those two days, I hope that and believe that you'll emerge as a better communicator and I hope that we'll be seeing you then.